The moon hung low in the ink-black sky, casting eerie shadows across the desolate road. I gripped the steering wheel, my knuckles turning white as I navigated through the dense fog that seemed to swallow the world around me. The wind whispered hauntingly through the trees, and an unsettling feeling crept up my spine, making my heart race. I had taken this shortcut countless times before, a route that wound through the heart of the forest, saving me precious hours of travel. But tonight, as I drove alone in the dead of night, that familiar path had transformed into a sinister labyrinth. The trees leaned in menacingly, their branches like gnarled fingers reaching out to grasp me, and the headlights of my car seemed feeble against the all-encompassing darkness. With every turn, the road seemed to stretch out endlessly, leading me deeper into a realm that defied logic. Panic began to claw at my chest, and I fought the urge to turn back. My phone displayed no signal, rendering me utterly isolated. My only companions were the rhythmic hum of the engine and the relentless pounding of my heart. As I drove on, I caught glimpses of movement out of the corner of my eye, shadowy figures that darted between the trees. My breath caught in my throat as I realized I was not alone. My foot trembled on the gas pedal as I tried to speed up, my heart racing faster with each passing second. The figures seemed to multiply, flickering at the edge of my vision, just beyond the reach of the headlights. A sudden bone-chilling coldness engulfed the car. I shivered uncontrollably, despite the heater being on full blast. The mist outside the windows twisted and curled in unnatural ways, forming spectral shapes that seemed to mock me. I rubbed my eyes in disbelief, wondering if I was trapped in a nightmare from which I couldn't awaken. The road began to narrow, and the forest pressed in even closer, as if it were alive, intentionally guiding me towards some malevolent destination. My thoughts became fragmented, and the world outside the windshield seemed to blur and distort. I blinked hard, trying to focus, but the road ahead seemed to twist and coil like a serpent, defying all logic. Suddenly, a figure appeared directly in front of the car. I slammed on the brakes, the tires screeching as the car came to a halt just inches from impact. My heart pounded in my ears as I stared at the figure, a woman, her pale face contorted into a silent scream. Her eyes were hollow voids, devoid of life, and her tattered white dress billowed around her like a shroud. I couldn't tear my gaze away from her haunting form, even as a sense of dread gnawed at my gut. She raised a bony finger and pointed, her spectral gaze fixed on something beyond the car. Slowly I turned my head to follow her gaze and my blood ran cold. There in the distance was a flickering light, a dilapidated ancient-looking mansion. It stood like a beacon in the darkness, its windows aglow with an eerie, sickly light. The sight of it sent waves of terror crashing over me, but it was as though an invisible force gripped the steering wheel, compelling me to move forward. The road led straight to the mansion's grand entrance, and as I parked the car in front of the decrepit building, a sense of inevitability washed over me. I stepped out, my legs shaky, and walked toward the entrance. The air was thick with an otherworldly energy, and every step I took felt like a descent into madness. The mansion's doors creaked open on their own, revealing a cavernous, dimly lit interior. The walls were adorned with faded portraits of people who seemed to stare at me with hollow eyes. My footsteps echoed through the hallway as I ventured deeper, unable to resist the pull of the unknown. Whispers echoed through the corridors, words I couldn't quite decipher but that sent shivers down my spine. A sense of dread hung in the air, suffocating me, as if the very walls were alive and watching my every move. My heart raced as I reached a grand, spiral staircase that led to the upper floors. With each step I climbed, the weight of the atmosphere grew heavier until it felt like a vice around my chest. The hallway on the second floor seemed to stretch endlessly, its doors lining the walls like portals to another realm. I pushed open one door, revealing a room cloaked in darkness, save for a single flickering candle. As I entered, the door slammed shut behind me, and the candlelight cast unsettling shadows that danced across the walls. I froze as a voice whispered in my ear, cold and raspy, sending a jolt of terror through my body. Welcome. I spun around to find the source of the voice, but the room was empty. Suddenly, a figure materialized before me, a woman, her eyes black as coal, 
staring into my soul. Her voice seemed to emanate from all around me as she spoke, recounting my deepest fears and regrets with uncanny accuracy. I stumbled backward, my mind reeling as the room seemed to close in on me. The walls seemed to twist and contort, becoming a suffocating labyrinth from which there was no escape. The woman's laughter echoed in my ears, mingling with the whispers that seemed to come from all directions. And then, in an instant, the walls began to close in, the very architecture of the mansion shifting to entrap me. I screamed, my voice lost in the cacophony of malevolent laughter and tormenting whispers. Darkness swallowed me whole, and my consciousness became a swirling abyss of terror. To this day, I cannot say whether I escaped that mansion or if I'm still trapped within its maddening walls. But if you ever find yourself driving alone at night, beware the shortcut through the haunted forest. For there are forces beyond our comprehension that hunger for the souls of those who dare to venture into the unknown.